Some rumors coming out recently have been saying that Apple may or may not have a keynote. It may have been announced by the time this video was uploaded, so if it is, sorry, I'm outdated. If there is a keynote, it will be at the end of March or the beginning of April, and we're hoping that that keynote will contain a total of four new iPads, as well as a new iPhone and the SE and whatever. Which, of course, I want to see all of that. I want to see that keynote. But most people are saying that the new edge-to-edge -edge homeless button Ten and a half inch iPad won't be able to ship until the summer. So hopefully they'll show them off, they'll unveil them at this keynote, but it's not gonna be like pre-orders start next week. It's gonna be like coming soon on the apple.com website for months and months. I am very confused about what's gonna happen with all that. Because this idea of removing the home button so you can have thinner bezels, but instead replace the home button with just five finger gestures, like multitasking and closing in. I don't like that at all. That doesn't seem like something Apple would do. Apple is very, very proud of that home button they've designed on their iPads and iPhones. That's how we access Siri, we hold it down. And that's how we do multitasking, and that's how we unlock our iPads with Touch ID. That's the way we secure our devices. So the idea that the iPad will just be thinner with bezels on the side in replacement of that home button that they worked so hard to create, and we'll go back to using passcodes again for security, that doesn't, that really seems like a step backward. I feel like they don't want that. And if that does happen, and they just say, no, just use five fingers now to close apps, I'm not gonna want that, and I don't think I'll buy it. My hope, as well as my prediction as to why these iPads are going to be delayed till the summer is because they're not quite ready to put into production this new technology they're developing for the iPhone 8, which is an on-screen fingerprint reader, which of course is not as easy as it sounds. They're passing patents for this, but manufacturing it is very, very complicated because obviously it has not happened before on any piece of tech. Perhaps they're debating holding the keynote at all because they're not sure if they can promise that this will be ready by summer. They know what they want, but they're not sure if they can guaranteed ship it in time. So even if you do hold the keynote, it may be a kind of a loose promise, like delivering AirPods by October. Because the other big problem you have with making an on-screen home button, which is what I'm in favor of, I don't want to see no home button on the next iPad. I want edge-to-edge -edge display with built-in home button. Is that similar to the iPhones, you would have to have some kind of physical feedback. Maybe you don't have to, but I would really prefer it if when I press the home button on the new iPad, it clicks for me. That's the assumption we're making with the iPhone 8, which we know is removing the home button. They'll use that Taptic engine just like we're using in the iPhone 7. The button's not real, but when you press it, you get a little feedback. It feels like you're clicking something. And that Taptic Engine's really helpful with 3D Touch, and when you're dropping certain menus, scrolling through little click wheel things, it's just, ask anyone with the iPhone 7 what the Taptic Engine is like, mm, it's, it's really satisfying. So we could finally introduce 3D Touch onto an iPad, which has not been able to happen for a long time, but the next problem you have with adding a fingerprint reader to an iPad on the display is that there's no wrong way to hold an iPad, which means you have to put a fingerprint reader on the bottom of this screen, this screen, this screen, and this screen. Or maybe they'll just dedicate one part of the display that says that's the fingerprint reader. And you'll just always put your finger there depending on which orientation you unlock it with. To bring all this new technology to the iPad sounds amazing to me and it may even turn around iPad sales a little bit. You know, to an extent it's still just iOS at the end of the day and we need more pro support for people to get really excited, but this would obviously be a major step forward for iPad. Now the problem with my theories here is none of them are backed up at all. There's no rumors to support this. And second, it's very rare that Apple would introduce such revolutionary technology on their iPad and not their iPhone. Typically in the past when they've developed something really neat and really cool, they want to ship it with the new iPhone, not really with the new iPad. But it's also really hard for me to believe the rumors that are true right now, saying that they'll just ditch the fingerprint reader, that Siri access, so you'll have to say that certain command to access Siri on your iPad. And every time you want to go to the home screen, you have to use five fingers, or multitasking, you have to use four. A lot of people don't know what those are still, and it's even more complicated on a mini because the screen's so small. That doesn't seem like something Apple would be in favor of, so I doubt that. But I also doubt what I want to have. Happen because there's no rumors to back that up and Apple doesn't really ship brand new tech like that with their iPads. They want to save it for the iPhone. So what will happen? I have no clue, really. Hopefully a mixture of the two, probably not one or the other. But if the rumors we have are true, I'll just ditch the next iPad. I don't need that. I want a real home button on there. If you're not going to add an on-screen one, which is a tricky request, I understand. What's the point? I don't need that. What do you guys think is going to happen with that home buttonless iPad? That edge-to-edge -edge display one? I just really hope we have a keynote at the end of the month because there's a lot of rumors right now saying there might not be one. They'll just do a website, you know, like a new headline. Yeah, how boring. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.